Stanley A. Fulham Stanley A. Fulham is a man who has published a collection of writings that examine extraterrestrial activity, world climate change, terrorist activity, and unexplained phenomenon. Fulham's most recent achievement was a book titled Challenges of Change. In the book, he describes an elaborate alien plan that has been implemented to help save our planet from environmental contamination. In his writings, Stanley has indicated that the universe is governed by a regional galactic authority, which consists of the intelligent civilizations Pleiades, Orion, Sirius, Boötes, Alpha Centauri, Comsoli, Zeta Reticuli, and Pausity. According to Fulham, in 2010, the Council of Eight decided to intervene with advanced technology to clean Earth's atmosphere before an environmental collapse occurs. The Council did so after reaching the conclusion that modern human technology can't prevent species extinction on Earth. He specifically mentions that the world will enter a transitional period between the years of 2010 to 2014, which will be accompanied by climate changes, monetary collapse, natural disaster, and governmental disruptions. On September 13, 2010, Stanley Fulham gave a press release for his book Challenges of Change. In the statement, he predicted that a fleet of UFOs would descend upon Earth's major cities on Wednesday, October 13. On the afternoon of the 13th, thousands of people witnessed and reported several shiny, circular objects flying high above the streets of Manhattan. Videos and unexplained photos of the event quickly appeared online. New York's three major airports experienced a closure on the day in question. Stanley Fulham also predicted a series of UFO sightings over Moscow in early January 2011, followed by activity in London. News articles have documented a wave of unexplained aircraft over Moscow in January of 2011. We have examined the predictions of Stanley A. Fulham and the events of October 13, 2010. However, we must explore another side of the story. The information surrounding the life of Stanley A. Fulham is choppy, inconsistent, and hard to find. Some internet pages claim that he served in the U.S. military, while others state NORAD and the Canadian forces. There is also the coincidence that Stanley's name is the same as a collection of English football clubs, Accrington Stanley, Stanley A., and Fulham FC. In Stanley's writings, he mentions the alien conspiracy, but also tackles a wide variety of international issues, including terrorism, world banking problems, and the September 11 attacks. In regard to 9-11s, Challenges of Change says that the WTC towers were destroyed by jet fuel alone, not explosives, and that it was not an inside job. The book specifically mentions the WTC building number 7, and states that it was destroyed by sympathetic vibration in the ground. Certain pieces of information in Fulham's writings appear to have an agenda. For this reason, it has been suggested that he is a creation or pawn used by the US and UK governments to pass misinformation to the public. Ultimately, using the conspiracy of alien involvement on Earth to explain occurrences that make no scientific sense, like UFO sightings and the physics surrounding the WTC collapses. This theory would suggest that the government was responsible for the spectacle seen on October 13, 2010, and that they wanted the lights to be viewed by the New York population. In December of 2010, it was reported that Stanley A. Fulham had died after a long battle with cancer. Stay paranoid my friends.